Having limited or no land doesn't have to stop you from growing your own fruits, vegetables, and herbs to reduce reliance on the grocery store. In this video, I'll show you how to start growing vertically using a green stock, which doesn't require tools, too much time, or much space to grow 40 or more vegetables in two square feet. Even better, you don't have to be a gardening expert to start enjoying a farm fresh life without the farm. A green stock is the perfect affordable growing solution for those of us with big dreams and small spaces. In a bit, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up your green stock garden in minutes. But first, take a look at just some of the ways you'll get tons of use from having a green stock. Or two. Store-bought dried herbs don't compete with the taste of fresh, and when you grow your own, it transforms everyday simple meals. The peace of mind that comes with having cut and come again green salad blends that aren't contaminated with sprays or will be recalled or spoil in the fridge on me makes this simple growing solution worth it. Did you know that the majority of your most used cooking herbs are perennials that will come back year after year and usually get bigger? By growing them vertically in my green stock, they'll be off the ground away from most pests and pets, ready for you to snip off and add to your cooking or dehydrate and store your own. Herbal infused waters have become popular in recent years, but goodness, they are expensive at the market. The good news is, they don't have to be. Flavoring water with the goodness of antioxidants, vitamins, and delicious herbal flavors has now become a daily enjoyment and way for me to keep my herbs trimmed now that I grow my own. Oh, you've got to try adding chocolate mint in your morning cup of coffee for a hint of peppermint milk of goodness. I've packed 30 different varieties in my 36 pocket leaf planner, which means there are tons of herbal recipes that I'll explore later this spring and summer. So far, I've enjoyed making relaxing herbal soaks for evening baths where I need to unwind, as well as linen sprays. Products that were once occasional indulgences because of their price tag have now become mainstays because growing vertically with a green stalk makes having abundance possible in a small space for those of us that have little or no land or just need an easier way to grow a garden. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Cassandra from the blog becomingafarmgirl.com. I'm here to help you grow tons of food in a small space, learn homesteading skills while you wait on your farm, and start preserving your own food. Transitioning to vertical gardening was something I never saw myself doing until I couldn't ignore the facts that it's the fastest and best way to densely grow lots of food in a small area. Growing up, not out, while also having a movable garden is a win. Now let me show you how simple the setup really is. Your green stalk will arrive thoughtfully packaged. Now, in this box, there are two green stalks, the original full size for growing deep root vegetables and fruits, and also the leaf, which is suitable for shallow root herbs and salad greens. Green Stock is a family-owned Tennessee-based business and special packaging touches like knowing Tyler packaged my order mean a lot. There are also these adorable stickers which I immediately placed on my water bottle. Oh, there is a packet of basil, which is always awesome. Thankfully, there are no complicated assembly diagrams, just pictures and regular words for instructions. Plus, you don't need any tools. You'll receive a total of six wheels, three locking and three non-locking, drain hose, a mover base, and gray watering discs. This is the original planter, which is 10 inches deep and holds eight gallons of potting mix. And this is the leaf planter, which has seven inch pockets that hold six gallons of potty mix. These are the top water reservoirs for each. And I also purchased the green stalk supports, which are perfect for vining fruits and veggies. They clip on and off where you need them. There are only three steps in setting up your green stalk, assemble, stack, and move. Start by grabbing the wheels and the mover base. Use firm pressure to pop the wheels into place, alternating the locking and non-locking wheels around the mover base. Add the drain hose or cap if desired. We're on to the second step. Stack the planter on top of the mover, interlocking the feet of the planter with the design of the mover. Fill each planter to the top with high quality potting mix and then plant each pocket with starter plants or seeds. Avoid garden or topsoil or raised bed soil. I sourced my herbs from a farmer's market I've visited for the past few years now and I encourage you to support local nurseries if you can too. 
The number of plants you put in each pocket depends on what you're growing. You can easily fit two to three herbs in a single pocket. Once things are planted, place a gray disc on top of the tier. Then stack the tier with the planter, making sure that the planter's feet interlock with the planter below. You'll hear the click it makes, and when properly stacked, you won't have wobbling. After this initial planting, this green stalk will be my herb and medicinal garden for years to come. Nearly everything I'm planting will grow back each year and are cut and come again while in season. I've shared many times before that while I had seen the success of others' grain stalks, I continued to grow in containers, buckets, and pots, but things came to a head when I realized all I had was a cluttered deck I could barely walk around and enjoy, and lots of pot stains on my deck. Now that I'm growing exclusively in green stalks and using hybrid heirloom varieties, I haven't had to compromise on how much I want to grow. In fact, I'm growing even more while also having space to host company and enjoy the small outdoor space I have. Wheel the planter to a location of your choice and lock the wheels in place. I leave my stalks out all year round and it survived many storms without tilting or leaning. Fill the top of the water reservoir, which allows three things to happen. First, water drips into each pocket of the top tier. Second, water overflows from the center hole and delivers water to each gray disc within seconds. And finally, water slowly drips away from the gray discs to saturate each pocket. You won't deal with standing water, just perfectly watered plants. If the time is right for you now, or you're considering a grain stock in the future, you can use my code BAFARMGIRL to take $10 off your order. So for me, I'm approaching mid-spring and I still have two more green stalks to set up. I'm going to have a cutting flower green stalk and then as the weather continues to warm, I'll turn over my lettuces green stalk to vegetables and then the fourth one will also be for my hot weather crops. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually starting to like mist outside. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to take you along the progression of how my green stalks are doing throughout the seasons. But more than that, I really want to share with you the utility that you can get in a small space from being able to densely grow like this. Whether it's the products that you're able to stop buying and replace because they're homemade or different habits that you can have, such as the infused waters and herbal teas. I'm super excited about being able to uh, have a portion of my homemade apothecary truly be from herbs that I am growing right outside on my own deck. I just cannot believe that along the back portion of my deck where I used to have about six five gallon buckets that now I'm going to be able to fit probably 120 different plants whether they're herbs or flowers or fruits or vegetables and I still have the rest of my deck to entertain. Y'all like look at this abundance. Look at this. I harvest from my green stalk. It's my husband and I about three times a week a third of it and i mean it's cut and come again these are full size it's delicious it's fresh i haven't had to throw away bags of lettuce one because i'm using them and they don't go bad when they're out in your garden i just oh my goodness this is lacinato kale and it is so expensive in the grocery store but i mean planting it from seed is just super simple these are collards that are healthy and just huge. I just love my garden. I'll see you in my kitchen or garden soon. Take care, friends.